everyone. My name is Shanice. Welcome to Health on the Beat. So today I'm so glad that I have the honor to take up the time of Xinyi from High Blender. Hello, Xinyi. Hello, Shanice. Hi, everyone. I'm Xinyi from High Blender. It's my pleasure to be here at Waita Health Live Studio tonight with Shanice. It's my pleasure too. So today we are going to talk about a topic called Stay in Shape, Stay Healthy. While all of us knows that maintaining a healthy lifestyle is so important, but it seems to be quite hard to start, right? Xinyi would like to share with us some tips on how to stay healthy in the midst of a busy life. So uh, before we start, I think there's some interesting things I need to share with you as a beginning is that High Blender Juice Cut Pro is actually a portable and USB rechargeable juice blender. So now let's take a look at the video now. Well, before we start, so we have seen a video. This is really a convenient juice blender. So first of all, we'd like to ask Shinyi how High Blender actually started. Okay, so the story started um, when our uh, founder was having his quarantine bed in 2020 when mm. he was still studying uh, in UK. Wow. So back then, he used to cook a lot and he wow. always wanted a blender that is convenient to use. Mm. However, he couldn't find one that is suitable uh, in the market because uh, mm. he has his own preference of aesthetic. So after that, he came up with an idea for uh, for Juice Cut Pro, which is a portable blender with minimal design, uh, highly functional, but it's also simple to use. I see. Wow, that's really an interesting idea generated during lockdown and executing it right away. It's such an inspiration, Mr. Andrew. And he does come up with a very convenient blender, which is very useful for everyone. Yeah, exactly. I'm also very inspired that he built High Blender up with such a wonderful product um, that can help people to maintain a healthy lifestyle easily. Mm. We also hope that everyone can start our healthy lifestyle and uh, get start our journey to be the best version of ourselves. Mm. So I do believe that this is also aligned with what Vita Health is delivering. Yes, true. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. And it's great that Vita Health products are all backed by science and with clinical studies. So mm. some of them, such as FitS and Protein23, yep. are mainly used for fitness and help to keep us in good, good, sh good yeah. shape. So this is definitely something important today. Yes, definitely. So Shinyi, you as an avid journalist and also a very talented graphic designer, if you want to know more about Shinyi, feel free to find her in the Instagram. And I guess that you have been spending a lot of time on the desk. So I want to... I would like to ask you, what does a healthy lifestyle mean to you and why do you think a healthy lifestyle is so important? Mm, okay, so first of all, I think a healthy lifestyle includes eating healthy food, having True. good quality sleep and yes. of course building our better mental health and more basically doing the smart health choices for today and for our future. Mm. And I do believe that uh, the pandemic has greatly increased the awareness of health. Mm. So having a healthy lifestyle can help us to maintain our healthy physical and also the immunity system. Yes, true. So when we put effort, uh, we will also feel good about ourselves and it will let us to, uh, to feel more productive and be confident. Definitely confidence. Now, let's ask all of you guys here. Do you guys have a goal to keep yourself in good shape? If yes, I hope you guys can type a yes in the comment there. And if you feel free, uh, you can share more about what is your goal with us too. Are you trying to keep yourself in good shape or increasing your body muscle mass or you try to lose weight, right? Yeah, yeah. we would like to know more about you. Yeah, just share anything that you'd like to share. Yes, uh, about... type it in the comment here. Yeah, I can see that uh, quite a number of people here saying hello. Yeah. yeah, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Janet, thank you. I saw you guys, you say yes. And Lisa, <laughs> true, I really like it when you guys have 
say that you have a life, you have a goal in keeping yourself in good shape. So to me, it's pretty simple. I really want to engage myself in the things that I'm passionate about. And I think that surrounding myself with positive energy will keep my wax up. And let's ask Shin Yi, how do you maintain a healthy lifestyle? Okay, so for me, I'm trying to uh, do my best to maintain a regular exercise routine, which is the most common way that we all know. Um, mm. So Janice, I know that you're a huge enthusiast of cycling. Uh, may I know how often do you cycle or do you have any other sports that you like? Mm, yeah, speaking about the things that I like to do, yes, I do really love road cycling, but I only do it once or twice a week. And I enjoy all sorts of activities and I like to switch it up. And it's, they're all mainly outdoor stuff ongoing, so you can see that my skin tone coming from, so you can compare. So that's what my, where my skin tone coming from. But in fact, we do um, have another alternative, which is you can practice yoga, which is also one of the indoor activities, which is very accessible anywhere, wherever we go. Mm. Mm, so it really sounds fun that you can combine the things that you like um, with the exercising part. So yeah, another way that we would like to share to maintain a healthy lifestyle is definitely to have a healthy diet. True. Yeah, and there's a saying called, uh, we are what we eat. Mm. So Shanice, as a nutritionist, um, you must be very mindful of what you eat, right? Yeah, yeah, you speak the right word. So when we talk about being mindful, I do really want to be mindful about what I'm doing and uh, whatever I eat. But sometimes we are so occupied with our daily life and work, it's so hard to spend time preparing a healthy uh, meal. And especially when me, myself, I eat out a lot, the food choices are barely contains vegetable and fruits as well. And, but how about you guys? Do you guys eat outside more than you guys cook? Feel free to leave a comment with, uh, to us and tell us when was the last time you took an adequate amount of fruits and vegetable. I can see, is anybody? Yeah, I can, I can see some comments saying that's... Uh, Building muscle is your life goal. Loose fat is your life goal. But how about fruits and vegetables? Are you taking enough and sufficient amount of fruits and vegetables? How about you, Shinyi? Okay, so for me, I'm um, also trying my best to have a balanced diet in my everyday meal mm. that includes carbs, um, vegetables, and meat. But I think the amount of vegetables and fruits is not enough sometimes. Yeah, And I agree that you said, uh, especially, especially when eating out, we won't uh, take any sufficient amount true definitely well just now you speak about sufficient nutrient when we talk about the nutrient um aside from the three main nutrients that our body needs there are also two nutrients that we usually neglect and that is coming from fruits and vegetable mainly so guess which one type it in the comment below please and let's see yep i can see somebody say honestly not enough of vegetable from liana i want to do a high five with you <laughs> High, High five. five. <laughs> High five, yes. <laughs> Tiffany is saying that broccoli, corn, and carrots. So that's your favorite. That's very good. Yeah. Oh, but Lisa, you are super healthy. You sometimes just take fresh label as a meal. That is really good. Wow. <laughs> we need to learn from you. <laughs> yeah. So speaking about three main nutrients here, Shin Yi, do you mind share with us some uh, the three main nutrients that you have uh, known earlier? Mm, okay, so based on my own knowledge, I guess mm. it's carbs, carbohydrates, and um, fat and protein. Am I correct? Yes, definitely. So the three main nutrients are carbohydrate, proteins, and fat. And what do we get from fruits and vegetables? Is there someone can answer? Like what? are the nutrients mainly found in the fruits and vegetable um yeah fruits and vegetable every day that is really a healthy diet okay so the truth is what are the nutrients that we usually neglect that can be found mainly from the fruits and vegetable are the fiber and water Yes, yes, yes. I agree that fiber is really, really important. Mm. So ever since we were kids, we believe that uh, we have been told a lot that uh, fruits and vegetables is important, that uh, they contain a lot of vitamins and fiber mm. that are good for growing skin, um, preventing constipation, and also help to increase our immunity. Yes, true. It is really important to get sufficient amount of fiber. Mm. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, by the way, I do believe that not all of us have a specific view of how much to spend uh, for a sufficient amount. Could you have a, could you let us have a clearer idea about this? 
Yeah, sure. So speaking about sufficient uh, fiber uh, for daily intakes and sufficient white, uh, fresh liver and fruits, right? So it is recommended to have at least three servings of fresh liver per day, whereas for it's best to take two servings per day. Speaking about the serving size, now we can take a look from all the fruits, uh, fruits and vegetable display here. So when we speak about serving size, one apple here, it's considered as one serving size. Whereas uh, for fresh liver, mainly one serving size could be one cup like this or full cup. So that's considered as one serving size. Whereas speaking of um, the orange, one normal size orange is considered as one serving size. So if you talk about two servings per day of fruits, it's best to take it like one orange and one apple, for example. So speaking about myself, sad to say that I rarely take uh, sufficient amounts of fruits and vegetables as yeah. recommended. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Juice Cup Pro will be useful for you if you need to get sufficient fiber. So basically what you need to do is just you can add in any fruits and vegetables and you can blend yourself a healthy juice or smoothie that is rich in fibers in just less than one minute. Less than one minute. Yes. So it's like less than one minute. That's really fast. So you can get a sufficient amount of nutrient from fruits and vegetables by putting it in the Juice Cup Pro for less than one minute and you can get it already. That is really fast. Hmm. Okay. So besides of taking sufficient fiber, we also have to know what type of fat that we need to lose if we want to keep our body in shape, right? Mm, yeah, okay. true. So Shanice, what is the best way to lose fat actually? Okay, speaking about keeping ourselves in good shape, aside from having sufficient fiber, there are a needs to understand what are the two types of fats in our body. So first of all, we can take a look at the slide here, at the uh, image here. White fat is the one that we need to lose. So it's actually help to lose, um, help to store energy. So when there are too much of the white fat, it can lead to obesity. Whereas brown fat, on the other hand, it helps to burn energy. So brown fat can help to lose weight. So the key to weight loss is to activate the brown fat to per burn more calorie. Mm, I see. Seems like we have learned a lot about the fats tonight. Mm. And yeah, I've heard that Vital Health has a weight management drink called Fit S. Just wondering, how does it help to lose fat? Okay, speaking about uh, Fit S, so Fit S actually help in reducing body weight, belly fat, waist and hip line. So how it works is that fit S works in two step action. First, it helps to break down triglyceride into free fatty acid and glycerol. And second, it helps to speed up the metabolism to mm. burn fat. So the efficacy of fit S has been clinically proven that uh, there will be no yo-yo effect, there will be no rebound effect. Oh. Mm. So and it features Sinatro. Sinatro is a patented weight loss ingredient with fat shredding technology and this is developed in France. Yeah. Mm, wow, it sounds really amazing that Fit S has so many clinical proven benefits that helps on reducing body weight and fat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, how about protein? Yeah, I've heard that having the right amount of protein will also help to uh, let us to keep in good shape. Yes, true. So a good and quality source of protein will help us in losing weight too, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So why is that so? That is because um, a right and sufficient amount of protein will give us a feeling of satiety for a longer time. Mm, yeah, and that's true. And to stay in good shape is very important to manage our hunger. Yeah, having more fruits and vegetables will certainly help in managing our hunger. Yeah, so blended fruits and wash tables uh, can help us to be feeling full for a longer time. Mm. So when we feel full, we can uh, directly reduce the food, uh, junk food snacking and reduce the calories intake. So at the end of the day, it will help us to um, stay in shape. Yes, true. So speaking about this, right, I can see that this Juice Cup Pro, it can help to blend all the fruits and vegetables here. And it can even blend with some other product, for example, Protein 23, to get a sufficient amount of quality protein. Yes, yeah. Speaking about uh, Protein 23, could you uh, tell us more about the nutrition in it? Sure. So speaking about Protein 23 here, this is actually a plant-based protein beverage and it is made of wet oatin, pea protein concentrate and is packed with antioxidant-rich oxenia with 22 types of fruits and vegetables. And most importantly, it is added with green tea extract, chromium yeast and MCT oil and this can actually help to increase the metabolism rate. So taking this 
the protein 23 as a meal replacement can actually help to reduce calorie intake and which in turn will help to lose weight. Hmm, wow, it seems like protein 23 is so perfect for people who just want to have a quick meal as it contains so much of nutrients in just two scoops per serving. True, so in just two two scoops per serving and you can get the, to manage your hunger, to reduce your calorie intake and to use it as meal replacement. But however, go back to the focus is that to maintain a healthy lifestyle, we have to focus on healthy behavior and this includes exercising too. So what is being recommended is that to exercise for at least 30 minutes per day to limit the risk for heart diseases. Mm -hmm. So I find yoga a very accessible exercise and we need no equipment to begin with. We can do it anywhere as long as we have enough room to move in. So um, now whenever we can have our yoga mat to place it in, we are good to go. Mm -hmm. So that's the best thing about uh, doing yoga. So we can take a look at uh, how uh, simple yoga steps can be done over here. Yeah. So we can always start with so help to improve your blood circulation and it can help you to reduce stress. And next, some other simple exercise that you can do is that stretch. Why is that so? Whenever we are sitting in front of the neck too long, we can always feel some tension around our neck. So we can do it from the left to the right, also from down to up. Yes, so yoga actually helps to improve strength, balance, and flexibility. And the slow movement and deep breathing exercise will help to increase blood flow and also help to warm up the body muscles and help to reduce stress. So I will suggest that we stay active whenever we can. 
Wow, that's really a good lifestyle. By the way, would you mind to share me the link <laughs> for the yoga video just now? It looks so stress relieving. I, w- I, w- I wish I could try it tonight. Okay, before. we can do it together next time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So back to the topic. Another healthy behavior is we shouldn't skip breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're running out of time or in rush, you can actually save your time by using Juice Cup Pro as it provides a quick fix for your breakfast. Please share with us how convenient this Juice Cup Pro is on blending all the juices. Yep, sure. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll start um, to demo about the Protein 23 plus the mm. banana, which was shared by uh, Gilbert. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, so, so here. So first of all, we got the Juice Cup Pro here. This is a uh the original juice cap pro which is in flamingo pink color we have two other colors which is um royal blue and mm. the other is pearl white which is a white color blender so first of yeah. all yeah we'll like we'll, to invite i would like to have shani to help us to peel the banana <laughs> and kind to uh smaller sizes to blend okay <laughs> so can we just like um how, how should we do it yeah. so it's very easy, I think. It's really going to be very easy. So I'm just going to put it in yeah. into this one. Um, as in like you just break it into smaller smaller sizes. sizes. Do I actually put it everything over here or just half will be enough? Uh it's up to you. You can every time you can you can just adjust the a portion. Okay, that you so like. I will put it another one more small portion yeah. over here. So, so yeah. Basically, if you can't finish the banana, you can always freeze it uh, and let it to be a frozen banana. Okay. You can, can save it for later. Okay. So we are adding protein 23 as well. So this is a plant-based uh, protein beverage here. So do you want to do it? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, so there's a tip here. So for the blender, right, if you don't want the powder to be uh, uh, stuck on the bottom there, you can add. Uh, you can choose to add water first. Mm, yeah, maybe okay. can I have the water first? Yeah. So here you go. Okay, sure. So yeah, as an Asian, you know what's aga aga. So <laughs> aga aga lah. That's the best ever. <laughs> aga aga. Yeah, you can. Every time you blend, you have the experience to measure. So basically, yeah, I think, yeah, this should be good. Mm. Okay. Then you can add in two scoops of um. Protein 23. Yeah, so Protein 23 is a plant-based protein beverage. It's actually packed with antioxidant, antioxidant called Oxenia. And the best thing about it is there are 22 types of fruits and vegetables in there. And most importantly, this is a plant-based, which is completely using pea protein concentrates. And there are also other in- ingredients as well. Okay, so we have put all the ingredients in. So when you close it, you can see... Uh, there's like a green light uh, blinking means that you are ready to blend. Mm. So yeah, so how do we start? We need to long press it for three seconds, then it's ready to blend. Yeah, it's working now, literally. Yeah, you don't have to try, uh, you don't have to just using the plugs and connect it with any electric, yeah. just doing it right away. Yeah. You just so, have to charge it. Yeah. So when you're in rush, you can basically um, just put in every ingredient that you want and then you can just bring it along to your office and then you can um, plan it during the, uh, when you arrive to your office and you can just have it your, ready, your, with your breakfast ready. Hmm. Else you can also add it with nuts or any other dry fruits, for example, some cereals over here. Hmm. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, quite fast, right? So yeah. Yeah, so you can see the texture is uh, very smooth, ready, and mm. it's ready to drink. Uh, will you have to try it? Yes, mm. can you please let yeah. me try? Oh yeah, I have to glass. Okay, so. so I'm going to try this interesting recipe. Yeah. And I think a uh, protein plus uh, bananas is definitely a perfect combination for recovery, especially muscle recovery post-exercise. Oh, enough. <laughs> I'm just going to try too, it a little. Much of so- yeah, so- I think you can drink it right yeah. away, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So let me try. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, to be honest, this is quite thick, but I can say that it's perfect when it's blend together with bananas. So yeah. Gilbert Lim, you have make a very right choice on choosing this recipe. Thank you so much, Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. Actually, I've tried it uh, pre- uh, in previous uh, previously, so yeah, I know how does it taste. taste. So you can say that this is uh, bananas flavor plus a little bit of the protein 23 flavor is 
the best combination ever. So next, what we are going to do next is on using um, Fit S. So how does it taste like using Fit S as uh, another chilling beverage? Is to mix together with some other uh, ingredient over here. So we will use another new blender, right? Yeah. So this one is our mini edition blender, uh, yeah. mini edition Juice Cup Pro S. Uh, it, not only the for the design, uh, for the mini design, mm -hmm. but there we are we have also upgraded some features. For example, um, just one for the normal Juice uh, original Juice Cup Pro. There are only two blades, and this one we have upgraded into six blades. So it's like three times of a uh, blending power. It's also upgraded to have this such cute iconic, iconic. switchable cap. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. Okay, okay. so next so. let's do this. Yeah. So the recipe from Hidaya is um, apple and cucumber. As uh, some salad leaf, we will use uh, celery here and we'll mix a little bit of the uh, lemon. So we'll squeeze a little bit of the lemon over here. So okay. now let's start. So let's put it um, the fit as first in. Mm. Or maybe, do you prefer to put in fruits? Maybe we can put the fruits first. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. For my personal tips, it's always to add in the powder afterwards. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So let's and do. So we put in the cucumber first. Is it enough? Yeah. Um, maybe one, a few more. Yeah, a few more. Okay. And next, we put in the celery. So celery uh, is very refreshing. Like, ref refreshing taste over here. Okay, and this one, apple, is the best. And what we have a saying called, an apple a day. Keeps the doctor away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still remember. <laughs> yeah, apple a day keeps doctor away. So you can see here, we are putting less than um, one serving of fruits. Yeah, and but we do have one serving of um, vegetable sufficient over here. Yeah. And here there is some lemon. We'll just squeeze, squeeze a little bit in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so we have everything over here. So now let's put in the water, right? Yep. Okay, I'll let you estimate. Okay. What's the... Sure. Yeah. Basically, how we do it, uh, we can always adjust the water. Uh, for the best uh, texture uh, is to add the water until it covers up the ingredients inside and also not uh, exceed the the rubber here yeah if you want to take more water then you can always okay and next feet. speaking of the fit s it's actually a convenient sachet and the flavor is actually a refreshing citrus flavor now let's put that in okay okay Ooh. wow it looks <laughs> so magical pinky powder <laughs> wow smells good <laughs> okay okay eh, no it's not this one this one is a switchable cap can... yeah the cap <laughs> Too cute that we cannot resist, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are using this one mm. to blend. So for the same, we need to long press to start. Yeah. It's so easy, super convenient. And with so many uh vegetable and fruits in there, it only takes less than one minute to completely blend it over. But if you want it to be smoother you can bend it for a longer time but it really depends on you it's already cost a sufficient uh, to do it at just one minute right yeah because our motor here is quite fast so it will be uh, sufficient enough for you uh, to do one cycle which mm -hmm. is 40 seconds okay yeah we are done okay let's try it again here. okay so what if i feel like adding nuts can i add nuts or any ice in there yeah, sure. Basically, you can add in nuts, frozen fruits, and ice. Mm. Uh, as long as uh, anything that you want to add in your um, juice cup pro. Okay, enough. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to try this. Uh, see, it's blend completely here. Well, I can smell the celery. Mm. <laughs> yeah, smell the celery flavor here. Mm. Okay, I really like this one. Yeah, oh, surprisingly. Surprisingly, yeah, very yeah. refreshing, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's completely refreshing because we have celery in there um, and we have cucumber. So it doesn't taste completely like a red shaver, very leafy taste, very greenish taste, but it tastes really refreshing. So what you can do at home is that mix the fit S together with all the fruits that, uh, that we have mentioned. And also you can include celery if you doesn't like it solid. You can always blend it into uh, juices. Yeah. So... If I want to add in um, any other nuts or any other frozen fruits that can be done 
as well, right? Yes, exactly. Just put, just need to put enough amount, amount of water. Uh, mm. It could be milk, water, tea, or yogurt of choice. Yeah, it's up to you. I uh, see. So it means that Just Cut Pro can blend any hard foods. Mm. Yep. So speaking about uh, frozen fruits just now, mm. uh, I know that you have done a bit research about that. Could you uh, share more about that? So yeah, uh, the, the nutritional value between frozen fruits and fresh fruits has always been a concern for all of you guys. Mm. But now we'd like to share the fun facts over here. Mm. Let's take a look. What's the truth? So the truth is that nutritional value, the content of fresh fruits and also unprocessed uh, frozen fruits here, they are actually similar. So when we talk about unprocessed, it means that they are not going through any blanching process. There is not processed at all. It's completely uh, harvested and then frozen it. The nutrition content is actually similar. So don't have to worry about it. And frozen fruits can actually be a convenient alternative to the fresh option. Um, even so, we still um, want it's best to choose a mix of fresh fruits and also frozen fruits because that's why that's where we can get a complete range of nutrients here. And we can also replace junk food with uh, this type of frozen fruits, right? Yeah, we can. Yeah, I, and the reason that I think that we love to eat junk food is because they are so flavorful and they are so easy to obtain and eat. And to be honest, sometimes I do quite a lot of junk food, especially when I feel stressed or anxious. So when I eat a lot of potato, so I'll eat a lot of potato chips, chocolates, and cookies. So when eating, uh, I won't really care about the amount because I can't cr control it, and oh. I'll feel <laughs> bad after that. Can I do a high five? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, all the same, we really cannot control. But it's really sad with you guys because yeah, I think mm, healthy stay healthy to stay healthy and fit. The key is definitely to make a healthy lifestyle, a uh, healthy change in our lifestyle completely and try the best to keep ourselves active as much as possible. Yeah. So a summary of this is that a lifestyle change is necessary. And to keep our body in good shape, a strict dieting may provide a short-term result. But once we stop dieting and we go back to our junk foods uh, eating habit, we might bounce back to our weight again. So this is actually called the yo-yo effect. Mm, yeah, that's the, that's the thing that you have mentioned that uh, fit ass wouldn't bring any yo-yo or rebound effect. True, that's right. And it's really important to add uh, to adopt a lifestyle change and trust that high blender just cut pro will be very useful. Yeah, it is. So you can actually charge High Blender Juice Cup Pro with a USB cable, just like how you charge your phone. And it is also made of certified BPA free food grade material. So don't worry, it's very safe to be used. Plus, lastly, if you are lazy after, uh, lazy to wash after right after blending, right? You, uh, it can it can also have a self cleaning function. Self cleaning function. Wow. So that means this one can do cleaning by themselves. Yeah. But last but not least, not to forget to include a good and quality source of protein in your healthy lifestyle routine, which you can get it from Protein Twenty Three. So I guess we have shared so much today. Is uh, fruitful session and fruitful session yeah. <laughs> literally <laughs> yeah so we are so glad that to have spent time together so thank you so much Nini, to have you here thank you so much for having me today so it's our pleasure okay thank you so much for all the people who have staying and i really like it to see everybody is commenting tifa i'm so glad to have you here and liana you have been very you have been very uh engaging for our session and alice yes thank you so much for staying with us um we would like to see you in the next episode so that's all from us bye bye bye